What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video I've spent about the last four hours trying as many algorithms as I had wallets for to give you the best overclocks that I could find for the RTX 4070. But before we get into the content, if you would do me a favor, hit that like button. It is very much appreciated, especially for this one. And Without further ado, let's take a look at Tatooine, which does have the RTX 4070 in it. And as you can see, I don't think I've ever seen so many different algorithms previously mined in Hive that I have to use a scroll bar <laughs> to look at all of them. This is pretty wild. So, yeah, at the moment I'm mining Nexa, but I've got a spreadsheet that I'm about to go over with you guys. But... I just want to point out that I started with all of the overclocks that I saw in hashrate.no and in some cases I with the settings that they are providing I outperformed what they were getting and in some cases I underperformed but the purpose of today's video is to try and get more hash rate and more efficiency compared to what we're seeing here and I think we're pretty successful in both of those categories for most of the algorithms so let's go ahead and jump into the spreadsheet here so first up is Dynex and this is going to be my overclocks here and then we're going to have hash rate .no's overclocks here now there's nothing here to really specify whether I outperformed or underperformed hashrate.no's expectations, uh, but we certainly beat what hashrate.no's overclocks were telling us we would get uh, by using our own overclocks. So one thing to keep in mind here is that your mileage may vary and your silicon is probably different than what I have in mine. And I guess what I'm getting at here is hopefully these numbers will help you, but be prepared to spend as much time as I have to dial them in uh, to find the perfect numbers for your GPU. So let's go ahead and go through these. So we got Dynex coming in at 3.217 giga hash at 51 watts, core offset at 330, locked core at 2700, memory at 5001, and a hash per watt of 63.07. Now this category here is the percentage of hash rate increased over what we were getting off of the recommended settings from hashrate.no. Now in this case, I'm not sure why we were so off from what they were predicting. I think they were predicting 2.9 and we were getting 1.9, but regardless we got up to 3.217 here. So as you can see it's a 68% increase in hash rate followed by a 31% or 32% increase in efficiency. And then next we got Ergo. Wasn't able to outperform that one much. And then we've got, uh, this would be for ETH, ETC, or Okta, or any coin that uses the ETH hash algorithm. And we got about 2% better in hash rate, 1.25% better in efficiency. And then Flux, this one was rather odd um, what was recommended was a core offset of 300 and then a locked core of 2505 and no memory but in my case I just happened to start the miner out uh, with some overclocks that I was doing on something else and ironically enough uh, not putting a core offset at all and sticking with a locked core of 2250 in a memory at 2200, I was able to get 0.63 hash per watt as compared to 0.61. And it wasn't a very significant increase in hash rate, but the efficiency was quite a bit better. And then we've got Ironfish coming in at 1.894 giga hash at 113 watts. And you can see we increased hash rate by 4.81%, but lost a little bit of efficiency there at negative 2.61. And then CASPA, we increased about 1% in hash rate and less than a percent in efficiency. Uh, 
Next, uh, we had a pretty significant increase at 7.37% increase in hash rate and 1.72% efficiency increase. And then Radiant, uh, other than Dynex, was probably the best. So we got 10.17% increase in hash rate and almost 4% increase in efficiency. Uh, and these would be the averages there between all of them. Now again, the only reason we're seeing hash rates on these was because either A, I had flight sheets already created, or I had wallets. And in some cases, there are a few coins that I would like to go over in the future, uh, such as Alephium, but we know that that's going to be very similar to Ironfish. And then basically any of the Kapow algorithms, we got Ravencoin, Meowcoin, Neoxa, Clore. I didn't test any of those because I believe that the 4070 does very poorly on those algorithms. So not really something you want to be mining on a 4070. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. And if you appreciate this content, please keep in mind that down below are some donation addresses. If you leave Super Chats, YouTube takes 50% of that. So yeah, if you got crypto and you want to help out, it's much appreciated. Hope you enjoy the content, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.